Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity, where we are fighting dark dank spores in the belly of the endless paths of Cade Noir. Yeah. That's how it's done. Yeah, um... Uh, yeah. Ixiana Moe Ixiana Where is Exio? There she is. Exio is dominated. Peter. And Eater is now dominated. Because of course he is. Is there a way I can get the red to touch? Apparently not. Yes. Oh, can't stand much longer. Priest is about to go down. Oh, wait, oh, I'm turned. Turned. Ah, no. It's now injured. It was barely injured, and now it's injured. Okay, everybody, please focus on the big one. <laughs> Not quite. This fight is mine. I have. Them. I this thing is it. It's now badly injured. Are you confused? You are confused. You're dominant for a risk. You're near death. Awesome. Your dragons went away. Bring more dragons up. You know what? Dragons get dominated. Let's try. That's not very helpful. Skeletons. Cruel. Skeletons shouldn't. Get dominated. Aha! They are indeed immune. It took me long enough to figure that out. Bottom. You're confused. Wish I could have done something. Damn it! I'll make. You wish you could have done something about protecting the skeletons. Speaking of skeletons, actually, I need to gain you. I need to... something else. the spores are all gone. Oh! You should have run! <sighs> Can we control Eater again? We can. Good. Hey. Ha. Ooh. Certainly. 
Oh. Well, that was... Ooh, Irania's Leaves. If I were a person using rapiers, that would be cool. It's good to know there is a unique rapier out there, because when I do the solo thing, I plan to play a rapier type. Swashbuckler. Ring of Thorns. Preservation. Okay. Kind of want to set this area on fire. Oh, and look at all that health loss. That's health loss, not endurance loss. Health loss. And I am down to one... One... Um, camping material. So we're going to go back upstairs. We had one group wipe, and then we had several really tough fights. But, still, the lore skill is used to decipher clues and remember pieces of esoteric knowledge in conversations and scripted interactions. Classes like wizards and enchanters start with a bonus to lore. Okay, so that's level 11 cleared. We have four more levels. Last thing the deer would need is another foreign colony. Right. I wonder how you're supposed to... Uh, I guess doing this as a solo is going to be really hard. Arrow Breaker. I don't think anybody is using a... Um, Ring of Thorns. Plus three dexterity. What am I wearing right now? Yeah, not really getting much use out of it. Am I getting plus two dex, plus one dexterity from somewhere? Getting bonus to resolve. No bonus to dexterity. So I could drop the Gaffbin family. Let's try that again. Could drop the Gathman family thing. There. Let's see what that does to my stats. Dexterity is now up to 15. Okay. Let's do some selling. Gods keep you. Don't need that. Don't need that. What is this? Guan's Pledge.
plus 15 endurance. It's kind of... Squan protect, helps protect the dignity of old age, so too do his followers pledge to prevent young lives from being harvested before their time. Neat. Oh, that's what I've been... There's the Remembrance Ashes. I've been looking for those. Yeah, I don't really, not really using much in the way of wands. Go ahead. Giant miniature space piglet. It is a, oh my goodness, it is a giant miniature space piglet. It's a pet. Spell ward. Angio's gambeson. Oh, I wanted to look at this. That can go. I might be able to give that to Pnord. Don't want to sell that. It's a diamond. Okay. Now, where are those miscellaneous? Ravenwing. What is Ravenwing? It's a mace. Okay. That's empty. Oh yeah, you're you're probably better off with a rapier than with the uh, hatchet. Probably give the hatchet to somebody else though. Let's look at see what that looks like. That looks pretty cool. Okay. Developing lots of money at this point. to do more traveling with Sagani. And the Druid. We're going to go to Twin Elms next, and so we're going to have the Druid in our party when we go that direction. Because that's where his subplot is. Most creatures will detect a character just after they appear at the edge of Fog of War. Sneak up on enemies to use scouting mode. Variably effective depending on your level of skill. Last thing the deer would need Just say is the word. another foreign colony. Your stealth is five, not terribly high. Your mechanics can do. High. Oh, I just picked it. Yes. Okay. We are going to hit the chapel bonus. We want that will. And deflection adds to deflection too. We will accept this group, and we're going to go back down to level 11. Level 11 is clear now. All we need to do is take to it, scorch it clean with fire. Should be should be safe. Ish. Pausing to issue commands is an important part of combat in Pillars of Eternity. If you would like... Oh, damn it! No, we do not want to go through the uh, stabby concussion dealing wall again. Paladins possess a mix of support and offensive abilities. Paladin Zealous Aura continuously affects allies near them. Their exhortations always target a single ally with powerful effect. 
Ergo, they are not going to be effectively useful as a solo person as much because they are a lot of their powers are built towards affecting a team. They are force multipliers. Okay, let's look at the map. This is a fairly large level. We're going to hit a quick save. I see webs. Webs are a sign of bad things. Fat squirming larvae blob in this green liquid. Is that artificial? Let's go this way. Let's sneak. Margrin's fire casts light in dark places. Yes, yes. I'm fine with them seeing this. I probably shouldn't be. That's it! Let us end this! Finish them! Okay, quick save. Oh, I'm still in combat. There we go. Is that more of that larval stuff? I wouldn't be surprised. Ooh, dear. Those are artificial. A group of robed figures blocks passage. Their heads bear a fearsome resemblance to those of the spiders that infested a cavern. these caverns. Their mandibles clack in small, constant movements in the dim light of the caverns. Their round black eyes gleam like gems. They look up as you approach. You feel a peculiar itchy sensation in your head, as if someone were running thin fingers through your head, through your mind. A muted sense of distress fills your mind, followed by a fair, far louder screech of alarm from one of the robed creatures. As one, the creatures turn towards you and attack. Oh, lovely. Vithrak Sentry. Okay. This That's it! It's... Yeah, they even have the, uh... Oh, their head, their hair is... Okay. Yep, let's take out the sentry leader. Stand still! Health isn't down much, but endurance is. They must have something that affects... Stand still! Endurance. Mithrak brains. Certainly. I'm wondering if these larvae are uh, part of their being here. This thing's just. I guess that thing's just always there, and I just don't notice it until it gives me a quest. Oh, I need a... Oh, dear. Hello, spiders. Raved up. There's a lot of you this time. Okay going to cripple one. Why did I cripple that one? Cripple the big one. Loth is down. No wheel. Attend to the priest. Oh, I'm, I'm standing in an area effect. 
brave. Well, at least, ooh, a level up. Okay, we are probably going to be doing. Just say the word. You've got frostbite. Following your lead. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Nobody wants to talk to me. We're going to do some leveling up. Ooh, that looks nice. It's nice to see it up front, up close. We're going to get a, we're going to get a print screen of that. Get that 12. There we go. Now, where do I want to spend points? I have 12 points to spend. I could increase that. I could increase that. Survival. Athletics. Let's increase the stealth. Let's increase the athletics. Rapid recovery. Now, her, I wanting to be a damage dealer. I've said that before. But rapid recovery might be a good weapon mastery. Plus 10% damage. Oof. On top of the bonuses provided by specialization. Un nuanced faith in gods allow this character to unleash a wave of spiritual energy similar to a priest's holy radiance. Once per encounter, friendly AoE increases. Wow. Okay. It does. Uh, it's it's basically a small version of the the priest thing. Prince of sneak attack. Spirant's mark. Uh, focus power on an. Oh, this is basically multi-classing stuff. Got it. Minus eight deflection. Minus eight reflex. Foe AOE. Enigma's Charm. Temporarily Charm. Wait, power of a Fledgling Cipher. Gallants. Plus four accuracy to people around. Unarmed damage for... Uh, yeah, we don't, not, not that interested in that. Outlander's Frenzy. Minus ten deflection health. Deflection and health and endurance concealed for 13.8 seconds. Okay, basically uh, gives me barbarian rage. Okay. Gives magic missiles. It gives one magic missile per encounter. Neat. Summon. Okay. It's uh, once per encounter summonings two skeletons. And Rangers, wounding shot. Hobbled, accuracy, primary attack. Okay. That is that. So these are fighters' things. Weapon. I could get another weapon focus, which I do not really want to. I could increase the uh, savage attack a little bit dangerous oh no no okay beast slayer this is all vulnerable attack I could do that what's defensive I'm not really interested in defensive on her utility yeah I could get wound binding, allowing her to bind her own wounds. Triage. Deep pockets. These are some, these utility ones are definitely ones I would be looking at for the solo. Okay. But right now I think we're going to get weapon mastery. And my timer went off, so see you in a little, in a little bit.